Hey guys, it's Drummerblade, and welcome back to another video where today, this is a bit of a sad episode, and I'll get into that in just a second, but for all of those that are wondering, why haven't you been uploading Minecraft Hardcore Mondays? Well, I have. It's just not been a video. Instead, it's been a live stream that you can also watch on my live section of my channel. There you can find episodes 13, 14, and 15 right there. Now, I'm going to explain how exactly I ended up dying in my Minecraft Hardcore Season 2 series. So, let's get right on into it. So think of this as kind of like the analysis of what exactly was going through my head when all this happened. This is kind of just in a conclusion video, just to wrap up the series, uh, bring it, tie up loose ends, just bring it all together. So, we start here. So yeah, I'm just casually mining, trying to get diamonds, as you can see, resources, stuff like that. I am low, so I don't have a lot of stuff on me. Just also trying to find a ancient city, like an ancient uh, ruins, so I can get better stuff and diamond gear. So I'm just, you know, moseying my way through this chats right over here I'm just chatting and urging me on so we skip a bit forward and so I'm mining and I come across this lava pit I'm like oh nice that's that's awesome and this is where it starts to get a little wrong and as you can see I'm in full concentration mode it's actually quite funny to look back on my recordings and see my expression uh, as I'm recording but anyway so I dig into this stalag tight and I'm going and I'm going I'm like dang this is tall I'm thinking it must reach <coughs> dang. to the I'm ceiling. I'm certainly glad to be out of that. So by out of that I meant out of the cave out of deep slate I didn't really like the skulk sensors and how they were just there uh, monitoring and I didn't want a warden to come because I knew I didn't have uh, the resources necessary to have any chance of defeating him or uh allowing any escape for me so i'm just here on top of my slide tight and boom a skeleton hits me i jump and i hit my keyboard and buttons a bit differently than i was supposed to and i end up falling in this gap it is now that i realize oh shoot i've messed up So what you're seeing here is a case of lag. I actually don't know what it is. I think it's lag. And so what exactly happened? So I fall into this and I place a block trying to place it on the wall right here. I end up placing it really far down. And I land. I'm at two hearts. I'm like, oh, shoot. What am I going to do? So then I'm like, okay, I want to see where the skeleton is. So I look up and I see this arrow. And for some reason... For a good amount of time, it just rotates around my head like it doesn't care. And and immediately it's right here where I'm like, the skeleton phases through the block I placed down right about here. So the arrow is just, you know, hovering. I'm sorry for the low quality, by the way. I wish I could turn it up. I don't know why it's going like this. So I place block and the skeleton phases through it. I have no clue how it just does I'm like oh shoot I'm at half a heart I'm like I need to save and quit you know I'm stressed out I don't really know what to do so I'm like let me just save and quit uh, you know try to figure out what to do reload the world take a sip of my water try to think with a clear Let's head so <clears throat> I load up the world again okay let me at least turn to face a skeleton you know kind of see what exactly went, you know, what, what direction is he facing? Has he noticed me yet? Right here. I'm like, okay, is he going to shoot at me immediately? Do I have time to orient myself to kill this dude? So I'm thinking, I'm going to have a heart. I'm like, okay. I look at my inventory. I see a shield that I'm holding. I'm like, this is great. I also see an axe. I'm like, I can make this work. I can, I can kill the skeleton. So I press play. I hold the skeleton and I block a few of the incoming shots. 
it's here then I realized it was going to be very crucial to switch to my axe as quickly as possible and back to the shield. This is where I went wrong. I could either, A, as one commenter suggested, just use my number key, 8, to move to that amount uh, to this slot in my inventory whenever I need to. I could also move this into my offhand using F. That's my switch hand button. Um, and then I can just easily have both on hand. I did not do this. Instead, I resorted to good old scrolling motion. And this is what ended up going wrong. I scroll, and I try to scroll back, and I die. With a score of 2347, I don't remember how long I was uh, in the world, but yeah, I ended up dying. And it was here I realized, dang, shoot, all my planning, everything is gone. And I'm not a very emotional person, but I was very sad at that moment, realizing that, you know what? All this is done. And so I kind of just tried to absorb it all. I was too tired to really realize how sad I was going to be later. And I just end up resting my head in my hands because I'm like, oh, shoot, this is this is done. So I no. load back into the world and I have no clue, but the world Frick. doesn't load. It's not. And it ends up just not loading. I still can't load into it now. The only thing I can access is a replay file from a mod I have. I tried joining it multiple Wait, times. It I like ended up looking to see if there was any ancient ruins at all. And there was not. Believe it or not, there was no ancient ruins. So what did I do? I wasted a whole bunch of my time to try to discover legit nothing. I got nothing out of that. So... The whole irony of this is it was my first season of playing Minecraft Hardcore. I also died to a skeleton. And they are not even the hardest mobs to defeat in the game. I thought I was going to die through Ender by the Ender Dragon. I was gathering resources so I could pursue going to the end, as well as doing other cool stuff with my Hobbit Hole. But overall, I'm happy with how the series went. I created a whole bunch of cool houses. I suggest for new viewers you go and watch them i would really appreciate that i'm also nearly at 100 subscribers so if you could subscribe down below i would love that a ton um and most importantly in the community tab of my channel i have put forth a question to all of you do you guys have any suggestions for a series to be posted on mondays for instance minecraft hardcore monday season three Maybe a different Minecraft series entirely? Let me know in the comments. Thank you. Go leave a comment down there. I would really appreciate your opinion. You can also leave a comment down in this video, but it'd be better if you could centralize it just to the community tabs so I can keep an eye on that solely. With all of that, thank you for sticking with me in my Minecraft Hardcore Season 2. I had a very fun time uh, having you guys react and watch it, and hopefully I can learn from it kill every single skeleton I come across and any other Minecraft hardcore series I do. Have a great day guys and I'll see you guys in another video. Later!